So I thought I'd make a quick video here using some shots from the security camera DVR. One of the cameras is aimed right at the area that I am installing my solar panel array. The wife wanted like a pergola, kind of like a gazebo thing, but I decided to build this pergola thing because I can use the top of it to mount the solar panels. So right here we have all this concrete because the owners of our house before us did a bunch of weird stuff, all concrete and bricks and this weird thing over here surrounding a fig tree and just no grass or anything. So this spot right here is all concrete. And then right here in the middle is like where I pulled out a tree when we first moved in that was garbage. So now I just had to pull out this lemon tree. This lemon tree is like a hybrid, so it wasn't even really good lemons. And we have another lemon tree. So I decided to pull it. Yeah, it was a lot of work. And this thing was full of one to two inch long thorns. Made me bleed bad. So I can jump through here. Anyway, I started cutting this tree down piece by piece using my DeWalt, you know, cordless saws. This tree was just full of thorns and it really sucked. And I had the cherry picker over here because I thought I was going to just winch up the uh, <laughs> stumps when I pulled these out, but. I decided not to do that. It was too risky. So I just cut it down and I'm going to have to deal with that later. My daughter acted like she knows what she's doing. I had her sweeping up the lemons. So there was like hundreds of them or something. And I was loading up the truck. So this is the shape right here of the pergola thing right here. So I'm using a, I'm going to make 14 feet by 27 feet to hold the 20, 250 watt solar panels. And actually, let me take that back. It wound up needing to go over here to do the 27 foot because I had to turn the panel sideways and make it long and skinny like this to get them all to fit. So right here is where the lemon tree is I just pulled out. I just stuck a pad over here to put my other post and then later on I'm going to have to clean this out maybe pour some concrete. I'm not sure because I'm, I'm going to put the barbecue I think over here. So got to got to see how it's going to work but probably have to fill in some concrete or just some pavers right there. Got to do uh, fill this in too. I do have a cement mixer I bought like for our first house back in 2002. Hopefully it still works. It's back in my corner of my lot back here. So anyway, last night I kind of got some of this stuff up. Here worked. This <laughs> year's like eight o'clock. I was still working on this thing. This is pretty much where I quit. So I have like the uh, I had the bases put down. I got the wood. I had to go get a lot of stuff from the Lowe's. Which is fun to go into with all the stupid social distancing and whatnot. Total joke. Anyway, so that's kind of where I finished it last night. Let me skip ahead. To Today I added some more posts and started just building around. I'll kind of skip through here, see the progression. <laughs> Jump through here. I kind of just built it around and around. And it was a lot of work. Four by six posts and just making all these little cross pieces here that I screwed in there. My friend coming out there to look at it. So I made my way around today. I did a lot of work today because I only had this up right here. And I went to Lowe's like four times today. So there was a lot of times I had to leave. So, but towards the end of the day, I did get the last sections up here put, put up there. It's a little warm out here. And there's the last two by six going across. These are just 12 foot spans. Went to the store and got some more stuff. That's why there's a big gap there. Then I put up another one. And this is the comical part here, putting up this freaking solar panel by myself. These things weigh about 40 pounds each. So I just wanted to get one up, just to get it up over there, kind of see how it kind of fit. And it fit pretty nice. I'm going to go over there and look at it and mark, scribe, and then I kind of mark the center, and then I kind of mark the other side, and then I push it over. So there we go, all the way to the end. So basically there's going to be one, two, three, four, and then it's going to be by five, which will be the, the 20. So this thing goes out of camera view all the way over here to this edge right here, to this post. So it's going to hold out 20. There's my buddy looking at me, <laughs> hoping that it doesn't. This thing is solid enough for our monsoon weather, but that's pretty much how I finished it today. Now it's kind of nighttime, so... It'll be cool. It's going to give us a lot of shade. I'm going to have to do some concrete work and stuff like that in there, but that's kind of how it sits. So hopefully throughout this week, I will at least get the solar panels on there and maybe connected. I'm going to get my wife to probably do some of the painting. 
<laughs> I don't know about her going up on that ladder. So, anyway, just thought I'd make a quick little video of all the little sort of clips I could grab from the security camera.